It is very hot, okay? Very hot in here. Ah, ini panas. Tapi mantap. Buat PJ, nanti kita kesini bareng-bareng, PJ. <laughs> Really, really like recovered from the disease. My prayers, one by one, answered. I finally know what is the deepest patience in me. It's writing. So I decided to make a publishing company, a small one, and then after that I need to do a homework to finally face my true homework because I know that one of the biggest reason why I got that great sickness is actually my depression. And you have to know the reason why people got Great sickness is actually from here, from here. That is the main reason. So I wanted to fix that. I wanted to sincerely know how to handle that. And then one by one, I did everything that I can notice that is the step of acceptance. It's like the other signs that I got. The house was sold. And then I started to let go his belongings, shirt and every outfit, every belongings that I used to keep. And then I started to smile rather than cry whenever 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 I speak about him and then actually at first it was a fake because at that critical moment during my sickness he was all I ever thinking about I missed him I needed him I want him to be near me but he wasn't there so 
I fake it till I make it and I finally got at the moment where I really smile every time I remember about it um, the other signs is I stop using words that every time I got disappointed by man I'm going to accuse him I stopped that I didn't want to blame anybody I didn't didn't want to blame especially God because I know whatever he has given me is always for my best <laughs> Almost at the end of the 2015, I decided to go to visit his family in Bali and do some ritual, Balinese ritual. Before that, I was never ever wanted to do that. But at that time, I think spirituality is one of the supporter, or maybe one of the cause of my sickness, and I wanted to apologize to the family I wanted to say I love them and so on before I went there he came to me in the dream and he called me at that time he was sick in the dream in the critical phase two and he called me and he said that okay, I wanted a divorce I said what what did you ask to me he said he said I want a divorce I really want to separate from you and then he said you don't have to come to Bali to see me you don't have to contact me whatsoever I was quite hurt at that dream and then he hang up the phone my sister heard this at the dream and then she said I want to pray I want to ask God why he asked that to you and then she prayed and then she came back again to me and said God answered me the ancestors answered me the reason that he did that is because of me not for him and then I woke up I sat down <laughs> my heart was going to explode and that I felt like I just got dumped by the guy that I really love I have to go through a divorce because of him and it feels so real that I sobbed for almost an hour it was even a nap not a night dream it was a nap but that was really sad and I realized God this is how much I love you because all of this face years when you came to my dreams maybe only one two times a year never meaningful but this time when it meaningful like you speak to me <clears throat> I cried like this so I understand why he never came to my dream that often but after that after I got calm I come to my senses that he answered me he agreed about the ritual and he showed me that I need to move on and he has moved on to there so it was pretty amazing for me that he answered me that clear 
that he showed that he really cared for me he guided me even though from far away because if I'm the one who will leave I also will always guide people that I love on earth right I wanted to make sure that people that I love here is really happy and if they see us feel bad feel so sad because of them how do you think that will make them think up there they are going to blame themselves and maybe they are not going to have peace Acceptance that 